Here we're asked to evaluate f times g of negative one given f of x and g of x. Let's begin by finding f times g of x. Now f times g of x is defined to be f of x times g of x. And so in this case we have f of x, which is x cubed plus x minus eight times g of x, which is two x squared minus x plus nine. Now here we can see we have a trinomial times a trinomial. Let's multiply. x cubed times two x squared leaves us with two x to the fifth. x cubed times negative x leaves us with minus x to the fourth. x cubed times nine is plus nine x cubed. Okay, and then we have to distribute x. So x times two x squared leaves us with plus two x cubed. x times negative x is minus x squared. x times positive nine leaves us with plus nine x. And then finally, negative eight times two x squared is negative 16 x squared. Negative eight times negative x leaves us with a plus eight x. And then negative eight times positive nine leaves us with a minus. 72. Now at this point we'll collect like terms. We have two x to the fifth minus x to the fourth. Now nine x cubed plus two x cubed adds up to 11 x cubed. Here we have a negative x squared and a minus 16 x squared or minus 17 x squared. 9x plus 8x plus 17x, and then minus 72. Now we'll use this to find f times g of negative one. And so here I substitute, substituted negative one in for each instance of x. And this leaves us with two times negative one to the fifth, or negative two. Negative one times negative one to the fourth would be minus one. 11 times negative one to the cube leaves us with a minus 11. Negative 17 times negative one squared leaves us with a negative 17. 17 times negative one is minus 17. And then finally, minus 72. And that adds up to negative 120.